Okay, so we just left our second appointment for the San Diego Fertility Center. This one went very well. I met my doctor this time. Tony's here with me, by the way, guys. She's driving. We're in really bad San Diego traffic. Okay, so I met my doctor this time. Her name's Miss Pac. Um, she's Park. really... <laughs> yeah, but I want to call her Miss Pac. She's really nice. She's really real. She explains everything. Like, you know, usually how you go to a doctor's office and you kind of leave, like, with questions and you're, like, mad at yourself because you're like, why didn't I ask that doc the doctor that question? But it's like... I don't know, maybe other doctors like intimidate you or like make you feel like stupid for asking certain questions, but no, she's like any questions and then by the time she says that, she's answered like all the questions in the book, so you're kind of left with no questions. But anyways, she um, like went over the whole, the whole um, trial pretty much when you're doing fertility, like when you're doing it through an IUI, like Tani and myself with two girls, you either do it with a donor or with someone that you know, like a friend or like if Tani had a brother or something, like something like that. Anyways, she asked us that like straight forward, like what are you doing? And then from there, she went off like on that, like branched out on that topic and went super in depth and was like, um, these are these are like the these are the clinics that you can like the sperm banks you can choose from and do you guys have one already and we don't have one but like we've researched many and like we have one in mind and we told her about it and she's like oh yeah like we partner with them blah 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 so we're gonna choose them and that is the what babe FCC. the fcc so it's the fertility clinic of california, clinic of california. um and then we we're talking about like picking someone and like that's third party so we picked that with the fcc so it's totally different so she's really just there for me like talking about my body and how do i get pregnant and then the fcc is the third party of pretty much i just buy the sperm from them and then i uh, bring the sperm to that doctor and the doctor uses it but it, the sperm really has nothing to do with her she doesn't help me pick it or anything like that that's through all the third party anyways um, we we're talking about myself and like how my menstrual cycles have been growing up and like my ir how irregular I've been and I'm super irregular all the time and obviously it's because like my weight but she like didn't discourage me or like make me feel like like bitch you can't get pregnant like no she was like um yeah weight has a big factor in it and like there's a lot of risks going into a pregnancy if you're overweight but that's just with anyone whether like you're straight gay bi whatever you want to be however you're getting pregnant it's when you're pregnant overweight it's like you're at high risk so we were talking about that and then um we did like a vaginal ultrasound ultrasound to see like ultrasound <laughs> <Stern>. <laughs> what's his name what's his name that guy that's like stad <laughs> Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> okay, anyways, we did an ultrasound to see my eggs, like if I'm producing enough eggs or dropping enough eggs during menstrual cycle and stuff like that. And she, before we did it, she's very like, I think you're going to have a lot because you're young and usually young people like have a lot of eggs. It doesn't matter. Um, like if you're regular or irregular on your periods or whatever. And then at that point, Tawny did ask like, so if, um, because Jessica's so irregular does that have anything to do with her egg count and she like clarified that right away like no it has nothing to do with it so then we went in and did the ultrasound and don't mind this big pimple I've been stressed so you know kind of conceal it so anyways um we went in there and we did the ultrasound and um I had a lot of eggs and I, it was actually surprising because honestly like I was discouraged doing that part because I felt like I was gonna have no eggs because I'm so irregular and like I don't know maybe I'm super ignorant on that topic but like I think every girl should know their body and I do not know my body like I don't ask doctors questions if I'm irregular I don't bring it up they ask me if I like when was your last period and I'll just be like oh last month like I'm not that kind of girl that like tracks the date to the exact time I don't know that so I felt really discouraged like oh shit something's gonna be wrong with me and because I've never like really like kept track of my body I'm not gonna know and I'm gonna find out right now but anyway she found a lot of eggs but she also found that um I have P C I have polycystic ovarian syndrome Okay, no, PCOS. <laughs> oh, PCOS. <laughs> but anyways, um, 
yeah, the, she says that it doesn't really affect you getting pregnant or anything like that. It just really affects you with, like, weight gain and, like, it's just, like, something that I can work on and it's, like, a gene that you're born with. It's nothing that I, like, developed over the years. But I'm going to be on medication for that and it doesn't affect anything, like, for the baby or stuff like that. But, um, we did find that out. She did say I have a lot of eggs and then at the end of it, she was like, I just want to let you know, like, because you are so young and you do have so many eggs, when we do, um, like, do the IUI, there is a possible chance for you to have, like, duplicates or, like, triplets, like, that, like, three that take three eggs, meaning that what she means by that. And I was like, okay, perfect. And, like, Tawny's face was kind of like, because that means we'd have, like, twins or triplets. But, like, honestly, one baby's a blessing. Two or three, like, cool. Thank you, God. You just finished our whole family in one time. But that brings more complications with everything. But, obviously, we're just going to take everything day by day. Um, I have to, obviously, start losing weight and, like, getting serious about my health because I don't want to try and get pregnant being high risk already I want to go into it very like positive mind and like I don't want me putting negative like a negative chance towards getting pregnant because of something that I can prevent from it you know like weight is not something that you're not born fat like you make yourself fat and like don't like let people give you the excuse or you give yourself the excuse like I'm already fat I'm over it like no you got yourself that way you get yourself back to a normal weight you know so that's what I have to focus on for the next like month or two obviously it's gonna take more than a month or two to get skinny but I'm not trying to get skinny I'm trying to be healthy so there's a there's a BMI like an ideal BMI anywhere from 28 to in the 30s you cannot be past like 38 BMI that's like once you're at 40 you're obese and like I'm already at a 40 and like I'm obese like okay no I'm not gonna get pregnant when they say that so I have to bring it down um and yeah once I bring it down I'm gonna do testing while I'm obviously trying to get like in shape and healthy but there's certain tests like blood work and like a something called a something called a h an hsg and it's this it's pretty much a test where they put some type of dye in your uterus and it's supposed to come out of your fallopian tubes both of them like spill out of them and that shows that you have no blockage in your tubes and things like that if there is blockage it obviously will cause for more testing after that but that's all i have to do for now like blood work and that and then from there, that those tests are accurate for about a year. So anytime within this year after those testing, once she receives them, I can pretty much start whenever like my body is physically ready to bear a child. And after all of that, I know it's already like eight minutes and none of you guys care about my life, but um, we're going to San Diego now and we're gonna have a good rest of the weekend because Monday comes and it's like grind time we have to like eat healthy be like smart about all of our eating choices like instead of sitting and watching tv when we get home like we'll go for a walk with our dog his name's charlie um charles barkley if you'd like i'll put a picture in the video but anyways after that it's grind time and if you want to see me work out i will do that if you want to see me in a bathing suit i will do that i'm just kidding <laughs> okay well bye bye bye